How's it going folks? Hope you're well. It's Sunday uh, afternoon to be precise and I'm just coming into the office. Um, just finished editing and uploading today's vlog, particularly short one. It was just me and even that was short. Uh, nothing from Paul yesterday. I haven't spoke to him so I'm assuming he just was uh, far too busy. I know he's got a lot on his plate at the moment. Or if he did have footage, it's too late now. <laughs> Yeah, so today is getting a look at the rev.com transcription that was sent over and I kind of realised now this morning, well this afternoon when I got up that I'm under a little bit of pressure because I've got to go to work tomorrow, um, which means I've kind of got a little bit of time tomorrow evening to do some work. But I also haven't recorded a Q&A for Tuesday. I'm going to focus on Tuesday's article and video and get all that done and then I'll see about the Q&A. Um, if it's a case that I have to miss a week, do you know what, not the worst in the world, uh, I prefer not to, I like to be consistent and show up when I say I'm going to be there and it's every Tuesday at 3pm as well to commit it to and so far it's been so good. Uh, okay, the time's been a little bit off sometimes but most of the time it's, it's out on the Tuesday, might be a little bit later than usual but um, yeah, I'm working Tuesday, Wednesday um, so I don't really have a whole lot of time to do any blogging on Tuesday or Wednesday so I need to try and get everything done today and tomorrow evening and uh, yeah I'm kind of struggling a little bit today for brain power so I'm going to push through I'm going to get Tuesday's article done and the video ready to go and everything sorted and Tuesday's main work done and then we'll see what happens after that I also need to speak to Paul about recording a podcast for this coming Thursday um, I don't think I have one in the can I'm almost certain I don't which means we need to record one um, which ideally uh Oh, and that's that could have to be tomorrow evening which then pushes out any other work so I'll see I'll have to speak to Paul and see when he's available um, maybe tonight but again my brain function isn't great so it may not be the best time to be recording a podcast I'll see but uh, yeah I'm going to jump in and get the article done and um, we'll see how we go from there see what it looks like I'll update you and how it looks and feels and works and how much editing it took to mould it into a, a decent article should be interesting Right, okay, I've been working through this. I have to say I'm very impressed with it. There's very few changes I need to make to it. Uh, I did take out some text that just didn't fit when reading it, I suppose, when you're watching the video. You can kind of be a bit more free-flowing with it. So I've just taken a couple of bits out of it, tidied it up and tightened it up. A couple of words I needed to change. Um, whoever did the transcription didn't recognise Aweber, so the spelling was wrong. But, I mean, apart from that, there was... Like very small tweaks to it. It took me probably about 20 minutes to go through it, change a couple of bits. And it's, um, I mean, my word count is at 1696, um, which I think the original transcription when I got back was about 1777, actually, it was. So um, I've taken some out of it, some words out of it, but it's, yeah, I've had to say, painless relatively simple um so i've created a featured image and i've gone through it here and kind of tidied it up and i think it needs probably another image or two but uh yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, it's worked better than i thought it would um so it's definitely something worth considering going forward um most certainly I do need to get in and optimize it um, so I'm going to see how that works but again shouldn't be a problem I generally will write my articles and then look to go back and optimize them so um, it doesn't change the process in any way shape or form so yeah so I need to optimize this now for the search engines and I need to finish editing the video to go along with it um, but that video is pretty much edited as well now it needs more production value in it I suppose um, but the main edit's done because that was what I created this transcript from so yeah I'm going to keep plugging away and I'll come back to you when it's done
is starting to become a problem. My hard drive is getting fairly full. The original clips for everything are stored on the hard drive, um, including the libraries for Final Cut Pro. Uh, but because the hard drive is now getting slow, it's slow rendering and doing everything else. It's starting to take far too long to edit videos. The process, making changes, then watching the playback to make sure it's done right is taking longer. I am going to need to buy a new hard drive because I will end up just throwing this out the window. I'm starting to get really, really frustrated. It's taking far too long. Right, that's it, I'm done. It's just gone five past six in the PM and the article for Tuesday is ready to roll. Didn't take much tweaking, I have to say, from the transcription I got from rev.com. I'm extremely pleased with that. Um, I think it's something that we may deploy in the future. Um, whether we'll do it for every article, I don't know. I'll have a chat with Paul about it though, because I think he may find it a benefit as well, given his hectic travel schedule. Um, so it may be something we'll incorporate more often but the video was also edited and uploaded and scheduled to go live Tuesday morning so the only thing I'll have to do on Tuesday is just jump on and make sure the article goes live itself because I've got that scheduled to go out and then add the video to the article I'll have to embed that after it goes live because I can't do that beforehand obviously um, and that's it um, that's Tuesday's article taken care of. I can kind of relax a little bit. Um, I do need to speak to Paul, as I said earlier, and sort out about podcasting um, for this week, and I need to record a Q&A video, but I'm not going to do that this evening. I am going to chill out with the family for the rest of the night, back in work at 7 a.m. in the morning. I may look at recording my Q&A video tomorrow. If it doesn't happen, well, you know what, maybe we'll miss a week. Who knows? We'll wait and see. I'm also still eagerly awaiting my camera. It still hasn't arrived. Tomorrow is a bank holiday here, so I'm not expecting the camera now until Tuesday at the earliest. But please God, it arrives by then. So enjoy the rest of your day. Whatever you got up to, go and check in with Paul, and I'll catch you later. How's it going? How are we? This is going to be quite a short update. Um, so what is going on? Still working on the affiliation for ninth day year. Uh, was looking at conversion rates, so was speaking to Todd Herman, who said to expect. Well, I say speaking, we we're commenting back and forth in the Facebook group, and expect maybe a two to ten percent conversion. So for every opt-in that somebody sells, you can expect. So um, now the focus is going to be getting on the opt-ins across. I have been finding that only thirty percent of people who have actually landed on the page where they can opt in for the extra content have opted in. And this is something that other affiliates are suffering as well. I think it's because the video doesn't start playing straight away. There's a lot of text uh, about um, basically a business fitness uh, PDF that you can download uh, along with the, the video itself. So it's quite interesting, which I um, probably need to explain that to people when they go across. So that's something that they come across. So you basically find out is your business ultra fit or is it ultra obese, uh, which basically means your processes aren't right, you're using too much software, there's nothing streamlined, there's a little bit of a mess. So um, other than that, talking about bonuses, a um, little bit of dialogue with Kimber Luna, she was given a bonus of an invitation to a one day event for people who've signed up. So um, I already have bonuses planned, they're all um, online bonuses, I suppose, because we're not looking at running events, although we have run some before, uh, and you know that went pretty well. So look, that's that's where it is. I've basically planned out all the content for the week and planned out what my promotion activities are going to be, um, which are really this little box here below. Don't expect you to read that. Um, so yeah, that's that's where things are. Look, we'll see to how they go uh, and it's just going to be real focus now for the, the next seven days on that so let's see how many people i can get onto the op get opted in uh, and then take it from there <laughs>